I don't know if this is working, but we're trying to live stream a Crit City race. Uh, we're going to do a couple races today. Um, feeling pretty good. So we're going to do uh, this Crit City race, then I think a little spin down, and then we're going to jump into another Crit City race. So two Crit City races. That's the goal. Uh, I was trying, let's see, let's see what happens here. Um, okay. Uh, da -da 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 Is this working? Does this look good? Alrighty. How's the sound on this bad boy? Testing, testing, one, two, three. Oh, good. Okay. I have the comments up. Uh, I should be able to see those like that. Alrighty, boys. So, uh, I was actually headed out to go steal a KOM from Bill Guyman. I had this whole video production ready. He was like, I stoked on it. Perfect conditions. I feel really good. Uh, I was right about to get to the climb and my chain broke. I've never broken a chain. I just kind of given a little, a little warm up and just snapped my chain. So, you know, basically pro. Uh, and I have to do it on a certain bike. And I actually had ordered a new chain. It was supposed to be here um, today, ironically. So I couldn't do that. So I'm just like primed. Like I had primed myself to go do a hard effort. Um, and then when I couldn't do that, I didn't know what else to do. So I was thinking, well, maybe I'll go steal like a gravel KOM. Anyway, this is what I decided to do, uh, was to do a, a Zwift race. So let's, um, let's hope we do well here. So uh, A group. So if you don't know what this is, Zwift is a, a, a virtual cycling game. I'm on a trainer, I push on the pedals, it turns a cog, a cassette, generates power. Uh, I have a heart rate as well. I don't have cadence, uh, cadence for whatever reason, I, I don't have that on here, but uh, as long as you put in the right weight, it goes off a watt per kilo ratio, and uh, that's how it dictates how fast you're going. There is drafting, uh, there's, it's, uh, there's technique involved. This is a short crit race. It's only eight laps. So I want to say that's like 10 minutes. Um, so it's not, you know, t a 10 minute race really isn't my cup of tea, but we're going to race a couple times. So we're going to do this one. And then once this is done, we're going to jump into another one. But I think that's like an hour from now. So let's get this one going first, yeah? Let's do this, man. Sick jersey. Got blue and pink jersey, so cool. All righty. So, Zwift racing. It's so much fun. 
if you know what you're doing. There's definitely a technique and experience involved with zip racing. Just knowing where to go hard, like right there, off the start. Every Zwift race is a poop pants, full gas effort from the gun. So you gotta be ready for that. Uh, it's hard to talk and race at the same time, but we're gonna give our best shot. So, bro, let me just tell you that I am feeling like a million bucks. I've never been fitter, ever. I feel like I have lightning bolts coming from my fingers. So, to give you a little recap, uh, there was a big fire called the Creek Fire near my house. A lot of people lost homes and structures. We didn't lose anything, but we were evacuated, mandatory evacuated, for two weeks. When we came back, um, the air quality was still so bad that we left for another week. And then we came back and it was still shit. So I went to Utah. What is that tractor? What, I've never seen that before. What's the steamroller? I have an aero, uh, so there's power-ups in the top left. I've never seen the steamroller. Well, everyone's using it. What's the steamroller? Everyone's using it, so I guess I'll use it. What is it? What is this power up? Um, Oh, really? That's dumb. Okay, so... When I was mandatory evacuated, uh, I couldn't control anything in my life. Everything was chaos. It was scary. You know, we didn't know if our house was gonna burn down. We didn't know if our town was gonna be there when we got back. So, I, uh... And we were bouncing from hotel to hotel. is super stressful. So the only thing I could control, the only thing that I could do, was to just sink myself into training. And I, I just went whole hog on the training program. Uh, structured. So, you know, not, not just big hours, Big hours plus structure, plus high intensity. Uh, I did 24 hours one week, which is a lot for me. Um, again, did a lot of structure. Basically did about a four week cycling program, which usually I do three weeks, a three week block, and then a one week taper or recovery. So I went four weeks, and then I did the Zwift Academy. So I tried to do all of the Zwift Academy workouts in like two weeks. So I ended up doing, having a six week program. And then I went to Utah for Belgian waffle. And uh, so basically like a seven, eight week program. Now that's old, that's way too much. I dug myself into such a huge fatigue hole, but I got my fitness, I doubled my fitness 
in my 30 days, or at least the, third, the fitness score. So, after BWR, I was feeling pretty good at BWR, and then when I tapered uh, for this time trial, I did the old house, old toll house time trial. I tapered for it. Uh, I recovered for it. I came in pretty fresh, and I've just been feeling super freaking good now. And I'm coming out of this major block hole. Yesterday, I did the last Zwift Academy ride. It was a segment ride, which means it's not a workout, but they look at your power on key segments. One of the segments was the epic KOM on Watopia. Dude, I was feeling so freaking good. And I ended up doing 356 for 20 minutes at 150 pounds, which puts me at a 338 watt FTP, which is a five watts per kilo. Now for me, that's so much, dude. I don't think I've ever really had a five watt per kilo FTP. It always is between four, four and a half. Um, because what happens for me is as I gain power, I gain weight. As I lose weight, I lose power. And so my watt per kilo stays the same. It's super frustrating. So raw power wise, I have done 383 for 20 minutes, but that was like at 165 pounds, 160 pounds. So recently I have just really tightened up the diet. I've really cut out all the late night junk food and man the weight has just fallen off in a sustainable way so not starving myself I'm not always hungry like I'm getting in good nutrition and so I'm down to 150 like that's that's insane. For I weigh, I'm six two. I'm six two, so 150 pounds. Two. You know what I mean? That's crazy. Then with the power, that's the other thing. Is you know, it's not super difficult to get down to 150 if you just starve yourself and don't ride, but then you have no power. So, well anyway, that was a really long story to tell you that I'm boasting a five watt per kilo FTP at the moment. But that doesn't really do a whole lot on Crit City. So raw maximum power, I think is way better. Uh, way more beneficial here at Crit City. Because the surge is, it's just, it's, it's difficult for me. Like, I just want to sit at 350 watts for 40 minutes. That's how I'm going to draw people. That's how I'm going to do well. Not by straight up out sprinting dudes. So, it's kind of a bummer because... 
I just don't have that high end. Chazzy, my teammate Chaz, he just commented on the chat. Uh, he just uploaded a video of his effort on this old told house time trial. It was like an unbelievable effort. If you want to see a, a video, check out Chaz. I'm super glad he's my teammate because Chaz is flying right now. But I guess who cares, right? It's the end of the season for whatever season there was. So, I guess it doesn't really matter that I have the best power I've ever had, given that there's nothing to do with it. There's no racing going on. So, hopefully I can maintain this in the next year. The idea being, it's easier for you to reach a level that you have reached before than to reach it for the first time. So if nothing else, I'm gonna say I'm stoked that I have reached a five watt per kilo FTP in what feels like a sustainable lifestyle. Like the hours I'm riding, the diet I'm leading, the training I'm doing, all of this feels pretty sustainable. Now I'm not going to train my dick off all the way through the winter, but I am going to do volume. I'm going to do the train like a pro challenge again in December and uh, hopefully come into like February, late January, early February with uh, an FTP of around 4.7, 4.8. And then do some periodized training, some high intensity stuff, build that peak, and come into the 2021 race season, given we have one, on form. Okay, so, about this race. You can see the speed up at the top. That really gives you an indication on if a flyer is even possible or not. At 30 miles an hour, like right, okay, so right now I'm doing, I'm noodling, and we're doing 29. If I was trying to go off the front, I'd have to do like 700 watts uh, to get away and then hold around six to seven watts per kilo uh, off the front to maintain the gap. So that's really difficult, dude. I will never take a pull. So, I guess what I'm hoping for is someone to attack. If someone attacked big and then I countered them. Because we're just going so fast. It's going to be hard to do much. Now remember, uh, we're going to do another race after this. But it's kind of getting to that point like, Everyone's pretty fresh, and uh, what do I do? Do I go? Do I save it? If I save it, what good does that really do? Because I don't have a full-on maximal sprint. These guys are going to do 15 watts per kilo in the sprint. I could do like 9.
All right, let's see if I can, if I can get away on this little kicker, I'll try it. Okay. All right, we're gonna give a little effort here. See what happens. Sprinter. That one guy went at the perfect time, and uh, I was hoping, I was hoping guys would go. They did not. Wow! 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 effort like that's it
Okay. Um, I felt good. I, I, and dude, this is, so whatever, here's the vegan excuses, right? Which is just ex explaining things. Is, uh, my power profile, I don't have that pair of sprints. So it's like, okay, we'll go early. Okay, well, you know, it's so hard to get away on Zwift. Uh, or at least for me it is. I know other guys are able to do it. Maybe if I had just really dug deep and went super, like just empty the tank on that second to last lap. But I can see the time gap. And on the, on the right side, you can see the power that other guys are doing. So I can see that I'm doing two watts per kilo more than the group, and I have a one second lead. So, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just, there's no way. I can't, there's nothing I can do. Okay. We got another race. Got another race, boys. Uh, I mean, there's, yeah, now let's do this one. Let's do this one. Cool. All right, so 11 minutes, 12 minutes till the next race. Uh, height wise dude I'm like six eight with my hair uh, but driver's license says six two um, all righty uh, yeah I'm home I'm back home in Bass Lake um, the fire is still going uh, it's still, but it's like mostly contained and it's not threatening, you know, our town anymore, but it does get pretty smoky on days. Today it smells, it's just always like, smells like a campfire. And so, you know, but yeah, we're, we're home after quite an experience of jumping from hotel to hotel with uh, all of our valuables and dogs and kids. It was a good experience, man. It's real good to just turn your life upside down, to be honest. Like, obviously, that's it's hard to do that willingly. But, um, you know, our life was, was turned upside down. And so all you can focus on is what is super important. You know, it's just whatever is like having family, having my kids be healthy, having my wife love me, you know, that those are the important things. And I know it's like sounds cheesy and shit, but when you're just like in the day to day grind, it's really easy to take, uh, it's really easy to take it all for granted. And so when we're bouncing around and, you know, we're all frustrated and we're listening to the scanner and it's like, doesn't sound good about our town because uh, I feel really connected to Bass Lake, not necessarily my home, but just like my soul feels connected here in some weird way. So thinking about like 
never living here again and moving because of the fires. Like that was that was shitty. And so once now that uh, the sky is not like a doomsday orange, um, I'm starting to fall in love with Bass Lake again. So. Uh, you know, anyway, and then the other thing is like, so, um, just sinking myself into my program and again, like what is important. And so, you know, I, I kind of took a forced vacation from making YouTube videos. So when I came, when I could start making them again, I was like, really, I felt the creative juices flowing and, uh, just life rips, man, no matter no matter what's going on, the mindset of just that, the fact that you get to live is pretty dope. And, um, you know, already all of that hippie stuff is starting to go away. It's really hard to hold that mindset, you know? So today my chain broke on my way to go get Phil Diamond's KOM. Like I was super, I had the, my wife was following me with the Jeep, like, it was going to be such a banger video. And then my chain falls off and I'm super pissed. I'm just kind of throwing a tantrum. But it's like dumb, dude. Why am I doing that? So then, you know, I just got into the Jeep with my wife and, and I just kind of forgot about it. Like, move on to the next thing. It's not that big a deal. The Arrow Road... The new Arrow Road is supposed to be really good. Someone asked, how's the Canyon Arrow Road for climbing? The new one is supposed to be dope, but I don't have it yet. Uh, my Arrow Road is a little small. Um, for me, it's a medium, which in a crit race feels really good. Uh, but on climbing, my knees kind of hit the bars a little bit. Feels a little scrunched. So I guess if I had a large, like all my other bikes, uh, it'd be different. But the air, the old air road, so I can only imagine the new air road's even better. But the thing is just a rocket. It really cuts through the air big time. And then those bars, dude, the bars on the new Canyon Air Road, crazy stuff. Alrighty, we got five minutes to do another race. Um, this one's a little longer and not as, because, you know, again, vegan excuse, whatever. Crit City is a hard race to race if you don't have a ton of dudes willing to play bikes. If, if guys are uh, like right here, like in the race we just did, it was just too dang fast to do anything. And so then you have, you know, it's going so fast, but no one's really working that hard. Um, so then you get into the situation where it's like, uh, I guess I can sit in at zone two, but if I try to do anything, it's zone a million. Okay, this is a bigger race, right? Uh, five laps. You know what I wish about Zwift is that they would have like a, the course profile, like the entire course profile, uh, hills and everything. And they don't really have a good side view of that. You know what I mean? All right, next race. Hmm. Do not do that other race. Don't do that, dude. Uh, how do I stop that from happening? Okay, I think that worked. Uh, 20 miles, um, again, a pretty flat race. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, pretty flat race. It says it has uh, 560 feet total in climbing, so nothing, nothing quite spectacular. Uh, So when I did this Zwift Academy, what I found was really interesting was um, I did a sprint workout. I did a sprint workout and my like 10 second, hold on, let's see, am I, I'm good, I'm still good. So I did one of the sprint workouts and my 10 second power was like identical to my 20 second power, which was kind of, I thought very interesting to see just how flat my profile is. So, and the difference between my 10 second power and our power is, <laughs> is not a whole lot. Uh, so if I want to win some races next year, I think I should probably work on my sprint just a little bit because there's some technique, right? There's definitely technique involved with sprinting on how to apply the power. And since I basically never do it, it's very rare that I sprint. I'm just awkward, you know? I'm just like awkward and clumsy and So maybe if, uh, you know, at the end of every ride, I do like two or three sprints. And maybe I'm not looking for the out and out raw power, but just how to uh, how to turn those legs over, how to recruit more muscle. You know, that brain to muscle connection is actually it's a big uh, it's a big part of it. Uh, I'm 6'2". That's how hot, tall I am. I am. I'm 8 milligrams of THC high and 6'2 height. It looks like no power-ups in this one. Um, I, I don't know how I feel. I'm good either way. I like power-ups. 
But I also like the simplicity without them. Oh, there's a pro. Did you see the little pro icon? Neat. C Miles. Who's that? Okay. Um, 19 miles. Pretty flat, five laps. There is a little kicker on this course um, and a pretty long sprint. There's definitely gonna be a breakaway or this group is going to for sure split. Uh, just to recap, This is a, a game called Swift. It's a virtual cycling game where the controller is you. So I push on the pedals. The pedals turn a sprocket, which turns a chain, which turns a cassette, which spins up a power meter that measures, measures force times rotation, giving you the number in the top left. Now that number alone is not enough to say if you're going hard or not. It also has to uh, have to do with your weight. So if you put in the wrong weight, that's called weight doping. And you could instantly, even if you put, if you knocked 10 pounds off your weight, you're flying. So sometimes you might get really heavy guys. Like say someone's 220 pounds. Well, their power, their out and out raw power is huge. So for them, 400 watts is no big deal, but because they weigh a lot. So, say you weigh 200 pounds, 300 pounds, 300 pounds, say you're a big boy. Well, if you set your weight to say 180 pounds, like that's not super fishy, but your Whopper Kilo is just going to be insane. 
and you're gonna just fly off the front. So, now I'm not really that worried about cheaters. I feel like there are guys in real life that can do those numbers. So I just assume that they are a surrogate for a really top level pro. And it's making me work harder and train harder, so it's all good. And more power doesn't always mean you're gonna win. It obviously helps, but there's a lot of strategy to this. Again, you can see here in the draft, you know, I'm doing one walk per kilo, one and a half less than the guy on the front. So they're already saying, everyone's saying that hammy guy. And you know, you know what I mean? You can clearly tell when a guy is doing orange numbers, when he's just flying. Shaholomi. So I've seen guys do that where they're like weight doping or whatever or their trainers just, you know, there's ways to manipulate the trainer to produce more power. But, you know, you might look up his account and it just doesn't look, it just doesn't seem real. But that doesn't mean that maybe he is a straight up badass. I'm not worried about other people. I'm trying to put down good power and race smart. That's my goal. We have a pretty good sized group here and so as it starts to get a little bit uh, deeper into the race, some of these B guys they won't be able to hold the pace. And if you're just sitting on the back like I am, you might get into some trouble. Again, I'm looking at my, I'm looking at my power and the speed we're going to determine if at all I should be worried about an attack or making an effort. I'm also looking at how far we have to go. 15 miles is pretty far. So if I was going to, but then you have, and this is what I love about cycling. If I go now, then potentially people go, wow, he's not going to make it. And I'll get some leeway. I'll get some leash. But I kind of know that uh, this group is just rolling too fast. And so it would be a real gamble if I uh, jumped off the front. I would have to have two or three guys go with me. How sick is this political talk? Great. Thank you. I love coming to Zwift for fucking politics.
All right, so there's a little kicker here. And then there's this like weird flat bit that always stretches everyone out, but it's like almost impossible to get away. It's really strange. It's almost like a headwind section. This guy's doing 9.7 watts per kilo. Okay, I believe you. I really wish there was a climb. I wish there was a race with a climb and then I could flex a bit. But the climbing races are also kind of dumb to watch. It's like you hit the first climb and it's just blown apart. It's an individual time trial usually. Okay, I don't want this to be a boring race. I don't want to just sit in. So, I'm gonna give a couple efforts. Uh, the hard thing is, by being the first idiot to do an effort, it's super easy to counter. Blob rolls fast. Dude, these guys are talking so much. I always find that fishy when people can text. Like, I'm not suffering that bad, but I wouldn't, I don't have the dexterity to type out full ass novels. Dude, less talk more ride. So again, right here, 32 miles an hour. That's so hard to attack on. You're just gonna go, you're gonna burn matches and go nowhere. Where are you going? Nowhere. No, I don't mean talking like this. I mean typing. Because then you're going to have to have your hands off. And the dude talk, talking and typing is off the front doing 8 watts per kilo. So, how are you doing 8 watts per kilo and typing? How are you doing that? I'm doing 3 watts per kilo. 2. And I, I, I wouldn't be able to type. Uh, looks like someone's trying to bridge, maybe. Okay. Are we finally going to play?
I need this guy to catch me. I think if me and that Miles guy that came together right on the bat right when I got to him. Now if I bridge up to that dude up the road, that feels a little, a little sore sport because I think the consensus is that he's not legit. So if you, if I bridge up to him, that's kind of like motor pacing. But, I mean he has power meter. And he says he's UCI Continental Team, so maybe he's legit. Because I think I could put in, I could put in one big effort and get to him. But the dude's just. I mean, he's lying. So even if I got to him, and then say he does 10 watts per kilo, I'm gonna get booted. All right, 10, 10 miles left. Just, I wish I had the high power to get a gap and then hold it. That's difficult. Like for me, that's my biggest weakness is a surge and then a little bit, uh, so you can see Miles uh, messaged me 
said he's maxed out off season, so that's why uh, he wasn't able to go. Carson says try over the top of the last kind. It's the, the hard part is that it's so fast afterwards. I've tried it several times before in the past, and it never seems to work. Uh, but dude, how boring, right? Let's let's just empty the tank. Who cares? Who cares if we get dropped? Let's make this more exciting. Okay, that guy's for sure cheating. <laughs> for sure. So that guy, he's off the front the whole time. And then as soon as I start going, he does 10 watts per kilo until I stop. Yeah. Plus the fact that he's typing is a dead giveaway. There's just no fucking way to get away!
Dude, this guy is seriously being so fucking annoying. And, and to be honest, his name seems familiar. I raced, I think, with him, I'm pretty sure. It's the same type of bullshit. Guy did 25 watts per kilo, 25 watts per kilo for the first minute of the race. And then just did what he does now. Sits out there with about a 10 second gap and anyone who bridges to him, he'll do 15 watts per kilo until you drop off his wheel. So, and like, dude, cheat all you want, whatever. But don't talk, you know what you I mean? Just cheat, feel good about yourself, pat yourself on the back. But the fact that he's trying to talk shit to everyone is seriously annoying. So again, I tried to bridge to him, and as soon as I started the bridge, he he went orange numbers, up to 10, 9, 10 watts per kilo, and that's what he'll do. So we could just forget about Cheater Boy, and I just don't know how I'm going to get away. don't know how I'm going to get away. Oh, someone's trying to chase him down. Someone's going. Watch no one chase this guy. Come on, let's go. Let's do it, dude. Empty the tank. Do something neat. I tried to go on this little kicker, and it's just, it's so fast afterwards. Let's see if I can counter this. Let's see if I can counter the climb. It's not really a climb, but you know what I mean.
too fast. We're rolling too fast. Last lap. Ah. I just feel trapped sometimes. So this start finish is so fast and it's like downhill that being off the front I need a better like selector on the course. Okay. Come on man. You just like one lap. Just go hard for one lap. See what happens. doing three watts per kilo and catching. This is dumb, dude.
soccer. Damn it. Man, that veal guy, he had the perfect, you know, I was, I was forced to chase. Ah, I was forced to chase that guy. If I hadn't chased Reed, You know, uh, poop, dude, I thought I had it. I was like, I fucking did it. I won his lift race. And that bro came by, that bro came by me like I was standing still. I mean, dude, he passed me with at least two miles per hour faster. Just, ah. Uh, Dang it, dude. <sighs> Woo. That was fun, dude. I mean, I worked. I tried to make it exciting. And I did, you know, I started that split, right? Uh, was it Veal who made the big, no, it was the other guy. There was another dude who made a really big bridge to get to me when I was off the front. Ouch, dude. That hurt. That hurt. Oh, boy. 1200 watts for 15 seconds. <laughs> Dude, I've like done 5 I've done 1200 watts once and I think it was a glitch. Ah. Uh, good dude. I'm way happier with that race than the Crit City race, right? Uh, that was that was a good effort. Uh, I can't pronounce the first name Cartel 499. Why am I here to ride bikes? I appreciate it, man. You know, the thing is, I find that strange sometimes when people um, say watch watch the channel and don't, you know, don't care about bikes or whatever. But I do the same. Bro, I'm so into bodybuilding. It's like my, it's like my secret, uh, what are you, not vice, but like guilty pleasure is bodybuilding. Uh, instead of, especially like the men's aesthetics so not the not the monsters not the ones that are 800 pounds uh the ones that are like shredded i like that but i don't do it you know what i mean just into it i guess i'm into dudes oh boy okay so do we have enough in me for one more race? The answer is no. But, um... Do we do, do we do a crit city? 10 laps? Boost mode? What's boost mode? 
Crit City races are brought to you by the folks at Zwift headquarters and may feature a few tweaks from standard races. It's a race so there's no ride lead out but maybe an occasional special guest. Go for the win, personal best. Okay. 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 Let's do it, dude. Let's do it. Let's go one more. I mean, I'm done. Done. I'm so done. So it's 10 laps, 20 minutes, 22, 23 minutes, 23 minute race. I mean, if we're live streaming, we might as well just keep it rolling, right? Yes, yes, Miles, uh, Carson Miles was definitely uh, a teammate for sure, man. He did, um, he helped me out a ton. I'll have to, my phone app isn't, I have no way to engage with him because the phone app isn't on, but, um, Okay, so you have to know when to charge your boost and when to spend it. I, I'm so confused. This doesn't sound fun. <laughs> this doesn't sound fun at all. All right. Uh, whew. Uh, I definitely didn't get fourth in that race. Well, okay, so I got fourth in the crit. Okay, oh wait. Welcome to boost mode. Choose your boost type. Boost types will vary in capacity, strength, and weight penalty. Charging costs watts and slows you down. Charge wisely. Press C to charge. Boosting punches up for your watts for a set period of time all about boost strategy. Well, I have no boost strategy. Uh, plus 50 watts. Jesus. Plus 11 pounds for the entire event. Hanna, thank you. Five hundred watts for five seconds. Good golly, Molly. But a twenty-two pound. But see, it's a crit city, so like, does that really matter, right? Does your weight really matter? Okay, this is hmm. Uh, -uh. dude, I don't have. But okay, okay, so I would say I don't, have sp I don't have a sprint, I don't have raw power, so maybe this one to give me that sprint. But plus 11 pounds, that's a lot. Plus 50 watts for 90 seconds. Dude, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I mean, I kind of want to go the power boost because 500 watts sounds pretty awesome. But 22 pounds? I'm gonna go, I'm, this is, I'm gonna go efficient. I mean, I don't have a sprint compared to freaking sprinters. You know what I mean? Stupid sprinters freaking fly past me like I'm standing still. Sick, dude! I'm 
tired. Bro, you know how bad I want to get sponsored by Red Bull? Very bad. I want to get sponsored by Red Bull so hard. And I'd be gross about it, dude. I'd be so gross about that sponsorship. Just every day, every post I make. Good thing I've got wings. You know, it's been a real hard day with kids. So a Red Bull is my savior. I don't know if I can finish a Red Bull in 50 seconds. I'm out of water. I'm super out of water. Okay, and C is to charge, and B is to boost. Uh, if you're just joining, this is my third race. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna probably get dropped, dude. This is gonna be very difficult. This is hard. <clears throat> okay, so the game is each person can choose a different boost level. Mine was efficient, so I have negative 50 watts. I have negative 50 watts if I charge, plus 50 watts if I boost. Plus, I weigh 11 pounds heavier than I normally would. 
but I'm fully charged now. I've got 90 seconds of plus 50 watts. That's good. Also third race, and them smoked. And there's like barely anyone in this race. Dude, I'm sh look at these guys, look at their watt per kilo. They've gotta be carrying that extra 22 pounds. So, they probably have a massive boost. Oh. Saving onto my boost, dude. Saving my boost. Okay, so that green thing over there is someone using their boost. guys uses their big boost I can use my small boost to counter and try to get away plus there's arrow uh, plus there's power-ups so I'm fully charged I'm fully charged got 90 seconds of plus 50 watts Stoked I did that early on. <laughs> it's crazy the watt per kilo these guys are doing. And I'm just sitting in. So they definitely, at least the doctor, has that 500 watt boost. There you go, the doctor's using it. He used his boost. He didn't really get anywhere though. Trying to get an aero boost, an aero power up. And then use my boost.
I feel good, dude. I feel pretty good, to be honest. I think I can get away and go long. So again, the game is I weigh 11 pounds more than I should, and I have a boost that gives me 50 watts for 90 seconds, but uh, it takes, it costs me 50 watts to get that boost. Other guys could have a bigger weight penalty a bigger boost and a bigger watt penalty to charge that boost. The doctor is the doctor is in, dude. He's rolling. Pretty sure I could bridge to him, and I think I'm gonna.
Ow! Dude, this is hard. This is super hard. Shit, dude. I am cracking. Good. Okay, so this green bar at the bottom is my boost. I have four 50 watt boosts. I had to exchange 50 watts to get that. Also, I weigh 11 pounds heavier than I normally do. Huh. Give me an arrow boost, dude. <clears throat> Give me an arrow boost. <clears throat> yes! Exhausted, dude. I am burnt.
shit. I'm done, dude. I got nothing. Fuck. I can't. I got nothing I can do. Damn it, dude. Those guys got together on the downhill. Poop, dude. They got it. They got together on the downhill. I just couldn't. Couldn't do anything. I mean, I had all my boost. Dang it, dude. So I'm going to say that the bigger boost is probably the way to do it. That was just, like, yeah, I was fresher the whole race. Um, but I just, especially maybe, oh no, that wasn't the last lap. Oh dude, I'm an idiot. Dude, why did I think that was the last lap? Oh, I'm such an idiot. High five to me being an idiot. That's so, I'm so dumb, dude. I don't know why I thought that was the last, I for sure thought that was the last lap. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. I mean, I don't think I could have done anything anyway. But maybe if I had just not tried to empty the tank there to cash back on. the pro What I needed to have done was use my boost to get onto him on that descent. Oh well. Third race. All oh, good. Uh, these guys right here, I've lapped them. So they're down a lap. Way to totally wax the legs. Uh, whew.
plant. Do you see the doctor? 6.1, okay. Come on, man. Fucking cheaters, dude. 6.1 watts per kilo with no heart rate. Good job. Good job, you shithead. Oh man. That was, uh, difficult. <laughs> that was really difficult. Uh, how was your boost experience? Um, uh, it was pretty good. I, I would, uh, Mm, I might do it again. Stop cheaters, please. Cool. Alrighty. Ha. Whew. Hey. Uh, so in that race, I got dropped out of that front group because of... Uh, Six watt per kilo, dude. Okay. Um, I got dropped out of the front group. I was kind of just... I just got caught slipping a little bit right there over the, the kicker. And then uh, I thought for sure I'd be able to get back on. And I think that that guy, that doctor dude, was just putting in a pretty solid pace. And then when they got on the downhill, I mean, they just... They just smoked me. I used all my boost, my 90 second, so an extra 50 watts for 90 seconds, plus an arrow boost, and I still couldn't, I still couldn't get back on. So what did I get? I got fourth, second, fourth. Neat. Not bad. Not bad at all. Guys, I really appreciate uh, your support. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, I've got some regular videos coming up. I've got an old Toll House time trial, which I was really proud of. Uh, I want to talk about my journey to getting to 5 watts per kilo FTP, which I just hit yesterday. I'm very happy with that. Um, I've got the Train Like a Pro Challenge for last year. Uh, I've got the Zwift Academy experience. Um, and then I kind of want to talk about the Ride Bikes Bro team for this year. You know, there's supposed to be like four episodes and we just never had a race season. So it's kind of like, I didn't really do anything with the race footage. I'd like to get something like that out. Uh, so anyway, super appreciate it, guys. Um, Uh, this is the, the kit that I'm wearing, you have to do the 100 plus one, uh, which it should be tomorrow. There should be a 100 plus one ride tomorrow. It's been a little hard getting that consistently on the calendar, uh, but you have to complete that. Not the full thing, not the full 100 plus one, I mean, you can, but uh, the last two months it's been, you could do 20 miles, 60 miles, or 100 plus one. 100 plus one miles, and whichever one you chose, it unlocked the kit for you. Uh, those shitheads were on Z Power? So annoying, dude. My FTP is 4.7 watts per kilo. And I'm 13. Is that good? Uh, I don't know anything about kid development or child development. And so, from what I can see, from what I, from my experience on juniors, is that there's this like weird golden period 
where they start to become like, you know, getting a little testosterone dropping, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, where their power is, is, is really good compared to their like, you know, boy frame, like their little kid frame. And so you might potentially peak out and like have your best watt per kilo ratio uh, in your younger days. Because as you start to get older, uh, that weight comes up and it's, it's, so it's easier to gain power when you're a kid and stay the same weight. Plus your metabolism is just through the roof. Plus your recovery is through the roof. Fucking little juniors are age doping. Dude, it's not fair. At 13 years old, you could go out and do a 100 mile ride and be fresh as a daisy for the next day. So use this opportunity to try to really push your fitness as high as you can. But the, to answer your question, like of course, anything four watt per kilo and above is very hard to obtain for your average jaw. Five and above is like dedication or genetic anomaly, just gifted or just working really hard. And then once you get above that, like six point, you know, six watt per kilo FTP, now you're talking, now you're talking you have some sort of mutation in your genes that's allowing you to hit those numbers. Either your heart pumps more blood, or you have a higher hemocrit, or you have a better lactate threshold. Just genetically speaking, you know what I mean? You're better than most. And I know that it's like, some people don't like talking about genetics and cycling, but it does play a role. Um, so anyway. And also, dude, FTP is not very important. I, I want to make sure that people understand that. Jeff Linder, Jeff Linder with NorCal Cycling Videos, maybe the best sprinter in NorCal, like a very good bike racer. The dude has like cat four FTP. So. If FTP was as, a, as the most important factor, you know what I mean? There's been, in 2019, in 2019, I came into some races probably fitter than anyone and still sucked ass. So uh, it's not always about being out and out fit or having an FTP that blows socks off. Race craft and your power profile also plays into a factor. So Jeff Linder has not only amazing racecraft, he knows exactly when to apply pressure and when not to, but his one to two minute power is just unbelievable. As of where, you know, it doesn't matter how fit I get, I'm not gonna out sprint Jeff. Now let's get on a 100 mile ride with some climbs, okay. Now we're talking, but so I wouldn't get wrapped up too much in FTP. I mean, it's, it's nice to see that number go up, but what is your goal? What is your goal for cycling? And if that goal is to race crits, FTP is not that important. If your goal is ultra endurance, you know, like hundred mile rides, 200 mile rides, 300 mile rides, you know, that's a totally different energy system. That's being fat adapted, um, doing fasted rides and, and trying to work on your zone two, zone three. You know, are you trying to be a time trialist? Are you trying to be a climber? Are you trying to just lose weight, dude. Everyone's journey on cycling is different. So who cares if someone has a 17 watt per kilo FTP and they're 12? Fuck them. Just who cares about them? Do your own thing. Make your own goals because that's what matters. So if your goal is to complete 100 miles, maybe it takes you eight hours to do it. You know, and you had, you stopped for five bacon cheeseburgers along the way. If that was your goal and you achieved your goal, dude, fuck, right on, man, good job. That's, that's, the, that's the good feeling, is to set a goal and to accomplish a goal. What's the thing, the, the quote, uh, 
comparison is the thief of joy, don't compare yourself to other people. Dude, thank you again, Cartel, for another five bucks, dude. Um, Nicholas, I, I did three races. Uh, so when this is done, you should be able to go back, or you should be able to take the, you should be able to already go back and watch all this. But this will be republished. There's three races. I did really well in the second one. All righty, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to go puke. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to puke. Guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And uh, Cartel handing out the money because he's a part of the cartel. I appreciate it, man. Um, how do I stop this? How do I stop this? As always, guys, vegan cyclists. Yeah.